All right, guys, Hove here, and I'm going to do an Ethereum update for you. So last time I left you off uh, with following a couple accounts, we had this ABC um, where the C is in, and now we've started moving lower uh, to get lower lows, or we have just put in the one of the C, and we're retracing for this two uh, before we move up a little higher. Um I'm still working with those proposed counts. A lot of this is pretty choppy, but I'm gonna dig in here on a smaller time frame to show you the two proposed counts that I'm going with for now, um, just because I like them. Um, this one right here is an alt count that I'm working. Uh, I, I like a more complex count that I'll show you in a second here. Uh, but we have this would have been the third. I was saying we were going to get one more move down in the last video uh, And we were going to get down to this level before we moved up for either the two or to start working on that three Now it didn't work out how I thought um, I I thought the four was in here uh, and we had this one two and then we'd get like the uh, rest of the waves down to this level kind of choppy how this all was but it took off um, and went this way so uh, this count which is my alt count like I said I have it as a proposed the third is in we get an expanded flat so this fourth could be in here and you see we get the reaction from this macro pitchfork median line it's been holding it this whole time so with that said, we had all this crazy action here. Um, to me, this looked like a leading diag of some type or some kind, and I took a short here, uh, but I didn't manage it correctly. I took the short on uh, Bitcoin, uh, and I ended up getting stopped out because I thought we were going to start moving down this way, but now I'm still going to look to uh, take a position higher up here on a short, um, but that's going to be in a couple days or maybe even a week uh, from what I am expecting. So this still works as a leading diag um, as the A, uh, B, C, but for this count to work, this one, two, three, four, five, this would have to be a diag of some sorts as well. Um, this could be the A, B, and we're going to put in a C down here for this third. Um, I would hope that this gets a little bit deeper for the third um, for an expanding diag. If it's a contracting one, uh, we're likely to get a truncated fifth here, which I don't like. Um, but in any case, we'll be following this count and the other one I have on this, which is the count I like the most at the moment, does not mean it's correct. Uh, it's pretty complex, but if you look across Bitcoin and some other alts, they're all kind of looking like this. Um, so I kind of dug in and came up with this count um, where the one is in and now we're in a complex correction where this is a and we're working on a complex b before we get a push up for our c or this could also be the one two we're working on the two work before we go up for that third that i was talking about on the last chart now again this looks like a textbook diag right here you everything works perfectly you get this a b c and now from here this is where the complexity comes in is now this would be our w we get a three wave x and now we had this expanding uh diag for the a we put in a b c here for the b and now we're working on this c uh to where if the three is in here um then we're coming up for the fourth before we get one more push down for the fifth of C of the Y of the B to complete whatever push this is. Um, so for that, just like we always do, we'll pull from the two to the three. We're going to start looking for confluences on these 
uh, to wherever we're going to look to enter. You could take this short or you can set up for the long. The long is the better play in my opinion. Um, but again, I'm just covering the, the possible count and you guys have to decide uh, what trade is uh, right for you. Uh, you have to look at the risk reward. You have to look at the timing of it. All those things have to go into play to see if the trade is right for you. So that first pull is in. Uh, we did the two to the three. Uh, it looks like a lot of confluence around this 50 to where we'll start to roll over. Um, there's not necessarily saying that's in. I mean, this could even be the one, two, three, four, five there. And now we've started to move up for either the C or the start of the third. But if this is the, the count at the moment where the three is in, we're working on the four. Um, let's try to build some confluence around here. And I have this line in here, um, which is called our trigger line. Um, and I can go over that in another video, but I'm gonna try to keep this somewhat short so I'm not rambling on forever. Uh, so another thing I would do to, to find confluence if I wanted to take this along is um, I would start adding geometry and other APPs. So for this one, um, we don't know where the four is quite yet, but what we would do if we did is we would take the length of the one, project it from the four and look for confluence that way. Um, if you look here, that's still a little long. This one is short, so you could even pull from here. Oops, wrong tool. Pull from our two through the three, project it from our fourth. And so far, there's some confluence right in this area. Uh, you can do the same with a pitchfork. We'll go here from the start of our proposed A to here, get that right on the pivot, and you can see that it's ticking these perfectly. So this could come out to this outer boundary line before it moves back down, and then we'll look for some confluence there. Um, you can also use uh, channels to hold this to see where it's gonna project. You can do this fib pull, which I will do for myself if I were looking to enter, um, and see what algo targets line up. So you see we already got the 0 0.236, negative 0.236, we just tick the 0.618, um, and we could even get lower down here if the bottom is not in right here. Um, again, I'm just going over ways to find confluence and a possible count. Um, now, the reason why I like this complex structure um, is for a few things. It, it, it actually counts the cleanest of any count I've found, uh, even though it is super complex. Um, but I also am following along with Bitcoin, and we all know Bitcoin will move the market, and I have this fractal over on Bitcoin. Uh, I'm not gonna show you a count, um, just because while I have a count, I'll, I'll save that for a little later. Not that one. Well, this one too, but you can see this trigger line is kind of holding the move. This looks like an ABC. Uh, we could have one more push down here before we get up to that area, but it's this bigger fractal, which I think is going to be playing out. Um, I kind of covered it in my last video, uh, but that one was so short I couldn't really go into depth. But this move right here into this looks very much like this move into here. So this fractal is almost identical to what this is. Um, this is uh, BLX, so it's like a day behind. But uh, when I did this, I said it's going to start coming down, which I think if you look at a live exchange, it's down to here. Um, so if you take the same fractal, let me see. You can see that we got this move up, 
then we get a bottom before we come up and it's almost almost identical uh, this is just the exact same fractal that i'm going to be following uh, I think we go sideways for quite a while in this range right here. So we'll say, um, what is that? $100 range, $200 range. Let me see. A roughly $300 range. Um, I could be wrong, uh, but I think what we're going to do is kind of put in a series of these would be corrections here. This could be a uh, some sort of flat correction uh, for already if this was like a one, two, one, two, and then you get this flat, flat structure here. Um, what I'm really gonna be watching is this 100 uh, moving average that we tested. Like I said, we get a, a bull trap here where we reject almost immediately. And then we kind of go sideways for a little bit before we test it again, it gets rejected. We go sideways a little bit more and then it finally falls off that cliff, which is exactly what this will be looking to do is once we come up here and test this, and that's roughly, again, this is Bitcoin. That is roughly around the 50 slash 618 right now. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. That's where I think that will go, which plays perfectly to how this is setting up. We're going to get this one more low before we go up. And then we're going to end up going, if this is correct, I have a bearish bias on this right now. If this is that ABC, then we're going to get that push up before we roll over and start coming down in five waves. So that is what I'm looking at right now. Um, for me, that is my favorite count at the moment because you can see we are getting uh, bearish divergence still. It's still pretty active. We haven't had any high over here or even volume over here. Um, that would be considered bullish yet. Uh, I mean, once this started ripping down, I thought we were for sure going down. Look at the volume. This is a combined volume of all the exchanges. Look at the volume on that compared to the volume that it pumped up on. I mean, I was watching that and it was it was just a squeeze on the lowest volume you could possibly get. I'm surprised it even registered on here. So anyways, I hope this helps. It's a little bit longer than what I normally do, uh, but I wanted to cover a couple of these counts and the reason why I liked the certain counts um, because Bitcoin will move the market. So if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. Um, yeah, I hope that helps, guys.